Number 41, Levi Casbolt. I've been looking forward to doing this preview since the beginning of them. And what do you say? He had he had a career best year last year. And I think overall it was a lesson for the footy media and, and us as fans as well uh, in terms of how we need to be patient with our players. Um, look, I can understand the errant kicking was a concern for us. And, you know, at a time where we really needed to rely on a forward to kick us consistent goals and whatnot. And... I think Levi copped the brunt of that from the supporter base, and that's been well documented. And people overstep the mark. People continue to overstep the mark, and people will continue in the future to overstep the mark. But I think there's a lesson for myself and for all of us as well. Um, you know, these players are humans as well, and uh, there's a, there's a human element that really came out from Levi. He allowed himself to be very vulnerable last year and really opened up. And uh, I thought he reaped the benefits of that. Um, you know, he had that stretch down back last year where, you know, we had guys like Weedering miss games. We had Plowman miss games. We had Liam Jones obviously miss games. And, and Levi came in and just played this role for us. And he was, you know, in that nine-week period, as good of a defender as anyone, you know, you could probably want in the competition. You know, his hands have always been there. We've always known that. He, he just, it's, it's just like the penny dropped. And that's the key point for me going into 2020. He's a guy that's, you know he's you know close to 30 on that on that borderline he's in that 30 year old age bracket he's got the experience and he's got the physical attributes so you know the mental and the physical have matched themselves and he's in this real sweet spot now where he's a veteran of the league and a lot of the defenders he's going to be coming up against this year will be for the most part younger and less experienced than him and he's been through it all so i think he he now is at a point now it, it isn't just a purple patch for him the guy is the, the pennies dropped. The guy's figured himself out. I really believe that based on what I've seen at training, based on what I've seen in the in the, in the preseason. I think he's one of the few guys who've just turned up and done their job every single time. His role is clearly defined now. He's going to be playing as a forward. He's going to be obviously bringing that ball to ground, and you know he hasn't had an Eddie Betts to to crumb and kick goals from you know from from stoppages like that. So he's going to have another layer where we look at him and value what he does. It's not something that he hasn't done before. He's always been a guy that can crash packs. We just haven't had the beneficiaries like an Eddie Betts or a Jack Martin who are really crafty at ground level. And so I just you know obviously wish him all the best. And it goes to show. I mean we're obviously going to miss Harry. We're going to miss Charlie. Levi is our most important forward at the start of 2020. And, you know, I don't think there's too many people here that would have thought that would be the case. But I'm interested to see how his year goes. I mean, will he play more time down back? We're pretty stacked there at the moment. Um, but having said that, I mean, he was as good as any of our defenders were last year. So he obviously has that flexibility. And he's a very rare player. Um, he sort of reminds me a little bit of... A guy like Lee Brown from Collingwood, he was a guy that was very versatile, that could go in the ruck, play forward, play back. Um, but Levi just does it on another level for me. So that's how I see his year playing out. He'll start forward and then we'll see what happens from there. And um, we should all be pleased and I think we should all take a, a note out of the Levi Casbolt story and apply that to you know our own lives and even the way that we support the club as well. And you know guys like Cam Paulson who are currently going through some struggles as well. There might be light at the end of the tunnel. We've got another one. Liam Jones also did it. So it's a good story for us. It's a good story for the game. And like I said, wish Levi nothing but the best. And what about you? Where do you see his year playing out? This is a really, I guess it's contentious because he dominated as a backman and all of a sudden he's playing forward again. So at what point do you put him back as a defender, or do you put him there at all? Let me know in the comments below.